What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Redemption 46 Studios. I'm Nick. I'm Lo. Keith. I'm Nas. I'm Jarek. I'm Curtis. And I'm Ty. Y'all seen the thumbnail. Y'all know why y'all here. EXO. Uh, I believe this was their latest comeback, y'all. Um, I never listened to this track yet. So it was brand new for me, too. Well, you ain't listened to it yet. Mm -hmm. Well... <laughs> 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 nah, but every time you drop your new album and everything, it's called like a comeback. So, you know, you'll have your whole rollout and everything that you do with it. Um, you ain't listening to none of this stuff yet. Neither. I ain't listen to this, no. Yeah, obviously, Beck, Kai, and everybody, and LA, every, I guess everyone is all on here. This is the group that they're all in, so we can, we can dive right into it. What y'all think? What y'all expect from this? No Stromo. I'm at face. I'm at Alien. Poppy. I think it's gonna be dropping. Oh, now you're on top. <laughs> Get off his dick. The set, the set dropping. I see what Bobby about to do. <laughs> <laughs> so nobody niggas will leave. <laughs> he fucking that vocal up in the oh, background. He started fucking them vocals up. <laughs> hey! That's that, nobody like. Yeah. Nobody niggas like. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, you a fool for this one. How y'all feel about that? I never had the desire to go to space until now. Yeah. I like the beat change up. I like that. Because at first I was kind of like, uh. But once that beat changed up and the rap line yeah, came in, I was change. like, ah, okay. Ah, now they got me. This feel like a astronaut recruitment video or something. <laughs> it was definitely kind of corny in that sense. You know what I'm saying? Like soundtrack. Nickelodeon soundtrack. I ain't want to go there. Nah, hey man, we all. Nah, I we get all it. folks, you know, 
uh, but that's what that's what I, I kind of I just felt that from this. Like I don't feel like this is something that'd be like, where would you play this? <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Like it sounds like a soundtrack. Don't sound club. like you would play this in a club. You would hear it in a club, depending on where you go. You mm-hmm. might club yeah. shampoo maybe. I mean, that's that's uh, probably. No, nah, this you know is this, a, this an AC. You know you definitely had a strong enough EDM drop to Concourse. play somewhere. Yeah. I think you would hear the beat. You would hear this at I don't know what the lyrics. Yeah. But I don't you think I'm talking about so much more the beat. I ain't talking about yeah. the lyrics neither. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You would hear this in Concord. Because I'm looking at the lyrics. It's like you climb from the bottom. You know, you going to the top. Mm-hmm. Your youth, your arrogance. This is crazy things you could do now. Like that kind of shit. A DJ would well, probably make this more EDM. That's what I'm saying. The beat would probably go crazy. But like the the lyrics is what you know. You were here, you were here. Like I said, it just sound like Jimmy Neutron soundtrack. Well, that's why, not to cut you before you jump in, it's always hard for me to, well, not hard for me to distinguish, like, the beats from what's being said. Because mm-hmm. sometimes with K-pop, you'll listen to something, and the beat is totally different from the message. Mm-hmm. For the third the time, be, for the third time tonight, idea. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yo. Like, so <laughs> it's, you, the beat is telling you turn up, but it'll be positivity in there. And you just be like, wait, am I supposed to, like, yeah. drink and smoke, or am I supposed I'm to get like, ready for work tomorrow? Yeah, <laughs> like, real shit. <laughs> Cause when I hear under, under, I'm not thinking about like fighting my inner <laughs> self inner or self. conquering demons and shit like that. It's some demons, all right. It's demon time. Shit. <laughs> Sorry. I think like the video just kind of threw me off from what I thought it was. Like I, the whole space thing, I didn't really see how it was relevant. I thought the video would have actually been more like the second half of the video with them in the club all the time. Um, I thought that would have been more so the entire video. I did like, however, how they introduced every member. They kind of gave them their own little background dances instead of just having other members of the group play the background dances while they sung their lead, kind of giving, uh, allowing everybody to kind of step out and be their own selves up until they had to meet up. Um, but it was, I thought it was cool. I thought it was dope. It does kind of give the, the Nickelodeon vibe a little bit, I guess, um, especially with the settings involved. Um, but... You know, I thought the song was cool all in all. And the beat switch was crazy. Um, I wasn't really feeling it. Um, nothing about it kind of like grabbed my attention um, or anything didn't stand out. Um, it was a good song, uh, but it just, I feel like this was a safe song for them to make like it wasn't nothing that was gonna be mind-blowing but it wasn't it doesn't suck you know what i'm saying it's kind of like in between um that's why i don't of course yeah like i don't really have too much um to say about it because it's like it's, it's cool you know what i'm saying um the song and the video uh were awesome i'm interested to see how it'll sound in headphones but it pro- I probably only listened to it like one time just to see you know what they did. Um, if this was like a song on Just Dance, it'd probably be my favorite. Um, but other than that, it's nothing like, oh, you know, it didn't blow my mind. Well, I'll say I did like the the video concept. Like I liked that everything was kind of in space. It just like because the set pieces really stood out to me. Like I loved the callbacks to like what it felt like you know 2001: A Space Odyssey. You get like Dutch angles inside like a you know weird shaped kind of hallway and just like just things that visually grab the eye but as well as um i thought the editing was really good with the transitions as well i like the the beat progression and honestly i do agree with you guys that it's it's uh the beat uh, as well with the hook maybe telling you one thing where the lyrics were a little more deep where it's kind of like when you're looking at it, it might leave you a little more conflicted but that was actually probably i would say my favorite part of it because i think that when you can have something that's a good feel but then you have lyrics that are kind of like like, hey, you have to, you know, you can still sink to your lowest self, and, and that's when you're most free. And just, you know, kind of evaluating yourself. But that's just something that would resonate more so with me rather than, like, you know, more of a club-type vibe that the beat may be giving. So I see, I see what you guys are saying. But overall, no, nah, I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, the music definitely gives you that club-type feel. And it, it's a little, it is a little conflicting because of, the, the message in the song is, it doesn't, I don't feel like this is what I should be hearing from this song based off of like the beat and everything else. I feel like I would hear this in a club and wouldn't think about the lyrics. 
but I, th- I thought the visuals were cool. Uh, I liked the, I did like the space concept, although at first I didn't really know how to, you know, where it was playing in. But I liked how they did it. Initially, like when he had like, I don't know about y'all, but it kind of, on it gave me like a upbeat, minus the aliens Prometheus vibe at first. <laughs> Minus the aliens. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, it kind of like gave minus. me Armageddon, though. I give you that. I give you that. This was just something where I just, I felt conflicted. <laughs> Insert space movie. Yeah. Right. Like I just, but I felt conflicted. It was like, all right, so we go from, we start in space. Now there's a dance party in space, but we're talking about positivity. But I feel like I should be drinking and partying. I just I feel I feel conflicted. It's not a bad song. That's life. But yeah, life but <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I just yeah, it was cool, but it's just nah, I don't know. Are they also um what was I forget the name of the one group we checked out, but they had like their own cinematic like universe in space. Yeah, they're part of that same label. Somebody's okay, that's saying, what I was getting at. I was gonna say maybe that's part of some connecting like, you know, larger How many story. Of members are in Super two, two. Beck and Kai. All right. Talk. I mean, it made space look fun. Like, normally you see <laughs> you see space, it's all cramped and uncomfortable looking. Like, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> I gotta commend the budget that they throw with this. Though. Yeah, like, but just with to this, bring it to life, it, I mean, it looks you, better than most films. It makes you. It it make you kind of think, yo, space probably ain't that bad. You ain't never seen Xenon. Oh God. That's a Nickelodeon or Disney joint. That's probably. Mm-hmm. It's kind of giving me that. <laughs> or the 100. You ever seen the yeah, the yeah. 100. That's my shit, bro. The 100, my shit, too. But this is definitely like a higher budget than the 100. <laughs> that's very true. <laughs> and I love the 100. Yeah. And it's still <laughs> fuck Octavia. RIP. Man, fuck. I just said fuck her. I didn't say what. Man. Fuck Octavia. What? She was cool the first couple. Of Fuck seasons. Octavia. Is we talking about the music? Still R. I. P. My man uh, B. What show was that? The one hundred. Oh, he be alright. He wasn't gonna watch it. <laughs> Probably not. I was. I was too focused on what I had to say about the song. Like I said, it wasn't. It wasn't really um, hitting for me at first until that beat changed up for the rap line. Um, probably wouldn't go on the playlist, but the video was fun. Got it out of the way. Yeah. I, I ain't gonna say we got picks, but what I will notice is that like when we do fuck with the song, we tend to give the video more of a pass with shit. Um for shit that we don't like particularly really like the song, we're more judgmental of the video, and it's probably because since you bored with the lyrics and the song, you kind of start smart. picking. Uh cause like not to compare when we did Moonwalk. <laughs> People were so amazed on the cinematography, and I I was real not critical of it because I love it too. But it was just like it I'm was people, huh? I said I'm people. Yeah, yeah, because I was definitely. About, I thought we said this joint looked like they threw a hell of a budget. Well, no, and I was it definitely was far as, like being confused up. with like kind of like what was going on and everything outside of them doing the moonwalk kind of one time. It just was like random. No, I'm talking mm-hmm. about this. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. I just oh. use that as an example to when like when we fuck with the song, it's like. Because me personally, with most of the shit, I don't think interlining stories or I don't care so much about cohesion because I know it's going to be a lot of set pieces, them just dancing in front of green screens, close-up shots, slow motion visuals, and then all the choreo. And that's really, like, what it is. But it's just funny to me when, like, when the song ain't there, we'll just be like, yeah, the video is kind of fucking all over the place. Well, what I think it is, is I think it's the senses with, like, your eyes and your ears. I mean, that's that's obvious. But it's like, if it's not resonating with your ear, you're asking your eyes questions almost. Yeah, and vice versa. Be. So where it's kind of like you're... you're like, is the dig- song all right? I don't know. The yeah. fuck is a teddy bear doing here? Also, <laughs> 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 it's just like, yo, fuck was... Nah, now that I've seen the teddy bear, like, why are they in a Lamborghini outside on the moon? Like, then it's just... You, yeah. you know what I mean? So it's just that's something I took away from it. Um, but yeah, the song was cool. <laughs> the song was cool. Definitely. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't know where to play this neither, though. Um, like it definitely had to be like a club setting and they probably would EDM it a little more. Yeah. And then kind of like go from there. Um, 
this is probably just a fun time, which probably was their whole concept mm-hmm. of the track, was just to have a fun time on a comeback. These niggas is working extra hard and a thousand subgroups doing their own shit. Every time they link, it's probably just a good time. Um, but if it is a, a universe we don't know about here, uh, hashtag Redeemers and let us know in the comments. Back to the 100, like I was saying. Fuck Clark. Fuck Octavia. Fuck one lo- one love. <laughs> <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, share. Um, hashtag uh, Redeemers. Let us know what cinematic universe this is in. People probably about to air us the fuck out. Like, dickheads, this is part three to another one, and y'all jumped in on the wrong one. <laughs> it happens. Shit happens. <laughs> Just like our Patreon is happening. You guys should join because it's early content over segue. there. What um, <laughs> so a back pass. Early content all on there. Um, like, Q&A is coming soon. Guide videos. We're going to do the BTS guide really soon. Maybe um, clamoring. NC, NCT guide. Enamored with that one. Um, BTS run. Enamored. Anime, some other stuff. But that's all coming in October. Follow us on everything. Low lead us up. Is Road to three up? milli. Road to a dub. Fuck Octavia, Clark, her mom. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs>